So all forward folds are folding at your hip crease, belly to thigh, not folding at your waist. And the reason why, picture this, your hips are pretty doggone big. That's a big area if you measure it from your pubic bone to the top of your hip here. That's a large area. So I don't want more inches to have to fold over. I want to bring those inches with me. I want those inches with my torso. So I'm folding at the hip crease, giving those extra inches to my torso. So when I fold here, I'm folding over my thighs, not my hip bones, and I can naturally touch the ground as long as my knees are soft enough to allow the hamstrings to be where they're at. And then you let your head relax. So it's a big difference bending at your waist. I'll never touch the floor that way. Yeah, I can bend my knees and still there, but that's not really forward fold. My belly and thighs are far away from each other. This is not far forward fold. My belly and thighs are not anywhere near each other. But this is forward fold. That's why we do head lifted to practice to get into a deep forward fold. Let the head go. Let the shoulders go. Take a breath. <sighs> practice straightening your legs, keeping your belly and thighs together, keeping the knees bent and straightening them. Just taking it to where your, your hamstrings are happiest with you for that particular day.